Oh my god. It's the mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Teenage Defenders of Earth. The Power Rangers are driven by the power of the ancient dinosaurs. Lately, evil space aliens have become a real safety hazard. Earth's only hope, the Power Rangers. Oh yeah? No one can stop us. Just let them try. Okay. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, too hot to handle. It's Megazord. When evil space aliens threaten Earth, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers in their Dinozords morph to become the Megazord. The Megazord is part of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers ultimate battle system. Hey, I thought you were driving. Me? I thought you were. <laughs> Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, too hot to handle. Even Megazord isn't powerful enough. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers summon Dragon Zord and Titanus, the motorized carrier Zord. They morph with Megazord to form the ultimate battle machine, Ultra Zord. Say, who's watching where we're going? Huh? Not me, I'm not. Uh oh! Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, too hot to handle. So I saw some videos on the packaging showing on Twitter. It just seems like Hasbro is basically struggling to wait until the official day to actually talk about these Lightning Collection remastered figures coming out. And they sometimes have a hard time keeping secrets, but they always leak stuff out on social media earlier before the actual event starts. And I think they need to actually learn how to do all of that before they decide to say, hey, we're just going to wait until this day or the next day to even put this stuff out. But instead, they just put it out earlier for all of us to see. While I was in church, I was stumbling upon a few things that really caught my eye when it comes to, um, to the remaster figure itself. And... There are a couple of things that really made me go, wow. They actually are doing their own research on how to make good quality toys. That is what this video is about, quality over quantity. And it's in the Bible as well. And before we get into this video, I just wanna read what I wrote from the site. It's only like short term, but I think you'll get the understanding message of what I'm saying. Watchmen need shall through 1 Corinthians 3.12-15 through 15, that the important thing regarding our work is not its quantity but its quality. Gold, silver, and precious stones are always small in quantity but high in quality. Whereas wood, hay, and stubble are always high in quantity and low in quality. That was the first time I, well, the first paragraph I wrote from the site, and it's true. Because when it comes to certain things that we all like and want to have for ourselves, whether it's for a collection or just for personal reasons, I think when it comes to this Lightning Collection figure, I can tell that it's going to have some good quality stuff to it. The articulation is going to be on point, and the head sculptures are going to be on point. And for what I'm understanding, some people are going to end up buying this even though it's like $40 and I can tell. Because whatever product Hasbro has put out when it comes to any quality toys, they usually run about like roughly $20 or $30 or so. It depends on how much the prices are. So with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and jump into this video right now talking about 
the images I saw on Twitter. So let's get to it. So can we just talk about how amazing this package looks? The quality over it is just so freaking good. From the improvements of the head sculptures, of the helmets, of him holding the power morpher. That's right. This is actually a figure that allows you to hold a power morpher up when they're morphing. That is stuff that you'll never see in the regular lightning collection unless you do it right. But this looks like it has some far improvements over its previous release in the past. So with that, Hasbro has really outdone themselves this time in terms of giving us good quality figures that looks very accurate towards the TV show. And that's a good thing. Now, as far as like the design goes, of course he comes with his traditional weapons, the power lance, the blade blaster, and you have your effects that looks like a lightning slash wave effects. And remember in the first paragraph that I told you all about qualities? This is definitely a high quality figure that everybody on YouTube is gonna end up talking about. And when it comes to the silver and gold on the power morpher and on the helmet and the silver on the power lance, this is definitely up there. And believe me when I said this, I've waited all day coming from church to actually do a video like this because this shall be a daily reminder of what things are saying in the Bible or you know about quality in general. And so let's talk about this head sculpture for a minute. This looks like between season two and three and Zio combined of Billy's appearances. This looks like a younger David Yost from season two more than season three. And you know what? I'm loving it. Okay, so based on what I'm seeing from these images, I can tell this figure has huge potential of being a great one, a great seller to the hardcore fans and the millennials and the casual fans as well. But I think deep down, this figure is gonna end up being everyone's favorite because of its quality and of how far it came since its original launch. And I think around two years ago, I believe, or was it 2020? I'm not sure, but it's been a long time. But to be fair, this figure looks like it has huge potential of being a good one, in my honest opinion, because of this huge improvements over the helmet sculptures and the face sculptures, the weapons, the hands accessories, and the effects because of his package people like shout out to Dawson Ryder and everybody else who gave certain figures harsh criticisms but those are just criticisms though so I can't really fault them on that one so I want to end this video off with another quote I got from the internet and it comes to the recently topic on Twitter about the upcoming remastered version of Billy Cranston. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. And that is exactly what Hasbro is doing. They're basically just going all out, giving the fans what they really want to see. Good quality figures being made from the shadows and then being brought into the light which is being promoted on social media. Good quality always have to come with a better lightning and better accessories, better details and better designs. And I know I'm not a toy expert, 
But based on what I've seen on Twitter and all over social media, people are just giving it highly positive praise. And that's all we're ever here for. Because life is too short at the end of the day. So just take it or leave it. You know, use what you have and try to make the best of it. You know what I'm saying? So that is my thoughts on newly released leak of the remastered version of Billy Cranston. I think he looks absolutely fantastic. And you know, Billy Cranston has always been one of my favorite third main move of Rangers. Minus the Alien Rangers. Either way, I enjoy what I'm seeing. I really appreciate what Hasbro is giving us so far. So, let me know what y'all thoughts are in the comments down below. And do you enjoy the facts I put into this video about the quality of these upcoming Lightning Collection remastered figures? Please chime in the chat and I will see you in my other video.